Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm always on the lookout for inexpensive shortwave radios, and today I think I found a real bargain out there. This is the amazing SI4732 all band shortwave AM and FM radio. Now I've got this zoomed in here really, really close so you can see it. Um, it is a tiny radio. To give you some scale, I'm going to put a lighter out there in front. And you can see how small that radio is. I mean, that's my hand. This is a very small radio. Uh, it, the uses of this are twofold. First of all, I'm an advocate for shortwave radio in your home. I think you should always have a way to monitor what's going on around you in the world without your television set. Should there be some kind of major disaster in the United States, would you be able to hear the news from outside of the world? Well, with a shortwave radio, you can. And that's one of the reasons why I like the shortwave radio systems, as well as also being able to listen to ham radio operators that are actively operating in a disaster area. You know, during Katrina, I was able to uh, tune in with my HF radio, and this was before I had privileges on that band, and listen to what was going on as the disaster was unfolding. You know, and with many other situations, I've been able to do that, especially with hurricanes and stuff. There's dedicated hurricane watch nets. So there's a lot out there to listen to, even if shortwave radio over the years is kind of getting less and less popular. The um, ham bands are pretty busy during emergencies and disasters. Aside from that, it's a reliable AM-FM radio. I mean, it's a really cool AM-FM radio. Now, this is based on that Arduino um, kit. You know, you can put together a kit pretty much of anything using one of those Arduino computers. Uh, it is using the SI4732 chip, and that is essentially an AM-FM all-band chip. This radio does AM, FM, sideband, everything else. I'm going to give you um, some more features of the radio, but really I'm anxious to get my uh, antenna outside and test it out. We're going to be using one of those uh, MLA30 inexpensive kind of antennas. I'll show you that in a second. And we're going to put it outside, and I'm just going to stick it in some dirt outside in a pot and see how well I can get reception from uh, around the world. All right, so I moved a little off the, off the desk here just to show you the antenna really quick. I did a review on this at the end of this video in the box up there. It will pop up the review for that. Um, but this is the antenna. These are like $54, $52. They're not expensive. You know, they're not the best out there, but they work very, very well. Way, way better than just stringing a wire outside. So this is the whole system here. You probably can't see the fine little wire here, but this is your actual antenna around the outside. That's your active loop antenna system down there, and it connects to another box in there, which will connect to your radio. We'll show you how that works, but first I want to get this outside, and I'm seriously, I'm just going to stick this in a pot outside in the dirt, and by using this, we're going to see how much stuff we can pull in with that radio. All right, not to get too in the weeds of this antenna, I'm just showing you what it's going to be receiving, and that it is there, right there, sticking in that pot of dirt. That's how we're going to be receiving the signal. So let's get inside and fire up that radio. All right, so to get started on this, we're going to have to show you the controls first. On the front here, you're going to have your um, band up and down, these two switches. Your volume up and down. That's your bandwidth here, how wide you want the signal. And that will only work on the, uh, the uh, shortwave sideband side and AM. Um, you have your step control here. The steps are available in um, the, oh, by the way, the audio bandwidth filter. Let's get into that. 0.5, 1, 1 1.2, 2, 2.2, 3, and 4 kilohertz. So you can kind of choose your, uh, choose your uh, bandwidth for what you're receiving there. Um, your frequency step, like I was saying, is 1, 5, and 10 kilohertz. So if you need to tune quicker, you want to hit that till you get to the 10 kilohertz, and the display will tell you. Okay. Your ACC is your attenuator. And you can take that from 0 up. And you have your mode switch down here, okay? When you push this in, you will get your BFO. If you're on sideband, okay, and you want to tune more directly, remember, this is not, um, you know, it doesn't have, if I'm turning to 7100 megahertz, all right, it doesn't have a dot zero zero. So I'm going to have to use that BFO to tune in a little bit if they're on 7100.5, okay? So you're going to be using that. You're going to push in on this once, and you will turn your bandwidth to where you want. Now let's look at the back really quick. On the back here, you have a USB charger. There is a 1200 milliamp hour battery inside this. More than enough power. I've, I've topped it off once and I'm still using it for days now. The charger here is of the older style. So you'll have to find one of these. It didn't come with it. So it is not a micro USB or a USB-C. So you're going to have to find one of those. This is your power button. You're on and off. There's a little LED here. That will be your, um, 
your charge, it'll light red and then go green when it's done. These are your headphone jacks. Now, you can use a headphone jack as an FM antenna. That's what works. If you're using local stations, listening to local stations here, um, I'm going to show you one. It's no problem. You don't even need an antenna for that. But if you're trying to pull in a longer distance uh, station from far away, you probably want to use a headphone, and you'll be using the headphone as the antenna. Over here, this is your main antenna. It is a BNC connector. Um, one of the things that when I first bought this system, the, you know, the MLA30 here, is they have the SMA connectors, and this had an SMA, and I was like, all right, cool, I can just connect it right away. Well, it turns out when I got it, it had a BNC. No big deal, bought an adapter, cheap little BNC adapter to go to it, no problem at all. You have a choice here if you want to use this antenna for FM, by the way. I didn't mention that when I was talking about the headphones. And being that we're going to start off with FM broadcast, I'm going to show it to you. And then you can move this antenna over to AMSSB. So, this can be your AM antenna or your FM antenna. So that's a quick overview of the radio. Um, let me give you a look at the uh, display as I turn it on. hope I'm zoomed in, zoomed in well enough to show you this. There it is turning on. And we're on FM 104.3. Okay? So what I'm going to do is take this down to an AM talk station. Unfortunately, it's NPR because I don't want to get a copyright strike by playing something I'm not supposed to. <laughs> so let's take it to uh, take it to that, and I'll show you. I'm going to let you listen to this real quick, and I want you to notice that it is doing the um, display here is showing the FM readout. I forget what they call that. It's a digital readout of some kind that the station broadcasts. So if you listen to music, it'll tell you the the band or whatever or the station. I'm Lakshmi Singh, NPR News. So you can hear that's pretty darn good. I'm going to take Support down the volume a NPR little bit here. There's your volume control, by the way. It's a stereo, and that's your volume control. And this is your S, S units, two S units here. I'm going to turn it down to like 40. So anyway, that's the sound there. Um, really impressive. i got to say, for uh, a little tiny speaker on top, that's really good. Let's try some AM, if I can get any AM in out here today. All right, so we have AM here, 720 out of Las Vegas. Um, I'm about 60 miles away. They used to come in here booming. They don't anymore, so as you can see, it's impressive that it gets it in at all. So i got to say I'm pretty impressed with that. I do have the MLA30 antenna connected. Again, I did move it over from the FM to the AMSSB. So let's see, scan around on shortwave and see if I can find some, uh, some hams talking. We'll take it up to sideband mode and uh, upper or lower sideband, depending on what band I'm on, and we'll try it out. Okay, we got the MLA30 connected again. You are now listening to WWV at uh, 10.00 megahertz, getting about a 3S bar S signal there. Coming in really, really well. I gotta say the uh, the MLA30 does its job. It may not be the most expensive or sexiest antenna out there, but it'll definitely pull in. And it is receive only. Remember that that antenna is receive only. Let me listen to the voice here. If they're gonna talk. All right, so you see it's working very, very well. Uh, I'm going to scan around and see if I can find. This covers all ham bands. I'll tell you which bands in a minute. Um, but uh, it's got 22 commercial and ham bands programmed into it. It does also cover general shortwave coverage as well. So you'll be fine with picking up pretty much all your shortwave shows as well. All right, let me see if I can find some hams talking. All right, tune that in. You see we're using the BFO there. Yeah, it's a little bit rough on the uh, HF bands, but you actually heard something there. Um, there's really not much out there right at the moment. But there you go. You can actually hear somebody there. Let me turn around and see if I can find any other stronger signals, and then we'll uh, wrap it up, and I'll give you some final stats on the radio itself. I did have some folks here talking on 40 meters. Unfortunately, they faded in and out, but uh, something I wanted you to notice, too, is this is not a continuous coverage receiver. As you turn, it will stop, and if you turn quickly, you'll miss entire sections of the band. So, just so you understand that, 
and I'm not really hearing anything on 40 meters as well. So anyway, I'll turn around a little more. Okay, you got in a station there, they were just kind of finishing up a queue, so uh, it isn't really a, a busy band day today, so conditions aren't really that great, and uh, I'm not really finding much, but you can see it does work, it does pull in shortwave stations very well. Um, I've had some really, really good luck late at night listening to uh, some of the lower shortwave bands, just scanning around for shortwave stations, so it definitely does its job, and again, if we were to turn this, and I'm going to tune this, I'm going to take the BFO back to normal again because I had it kind of off and that's how you will tune it past that last, you see it's 143303 or 304, 303 so let's say it's 14.303.25 well that's how you do it with the BFO that beat frequency oscillator you can do plus or minus using that and then you just turn it off by pushing that again so it's a very simple operand so let's take it right now live down to, you see how well WWV is coming in. So if there's stuff out there, it'll definitely pick it up. And that's the time on 10 megahertz there. So it definitely works well. I'm definitely pleased with it. I have it on upper sideband. Let's put that on AM. You see how clear that is. S meter. Anyway, let's get back to the pull back a little bit, and I'll give you a little more information on the radio itself. All right, so that's the radio. Um, unfortunately, we weren't able to find too much on the ham bands right now. Conditions aren't really great, but you can see where there is a commercial shortwave broadcast on WWV with the time signal. This thing is really a decent performer. And I was also able to pick up a lot of different ham broadcasts uh, last night on 40 meters, and it was doing excellent. So it's really just a matter of when the people are on the bands and how the bands are. So all in all, it's a pretty neat system. They run about 58 54 bucks, depending on where you find them. Um, I got this one off eBay from a seller there. You can find them all over AliExpress, all over. Um, they will take a while to get to you, being that they're coming from China. They are um, already pre-built, but you can buy kits. You can buy the kit, and it doesn't come with this front here. It'll just come as a printed circuit board with the chip itself and all the parts. Um, but it's really not economical to. It's uh, like, uh, I believe, 47 something, 47 bucks to do it. And uh, completely built, it's like 52 or to 54, you know, bucks for one of these. Completely, completely built and ready to go. So economically, if you if you're not into building it and having fun with it, it really doesn't make sense to buy it. Uh, half built and not do it, you know, do it yourself because it's ready to go. Where do I think this would come in handy? Well, in a situation where you have a tiny home, a small area, you don't have a lot of area, maybe you live in a very small apartment, very high up, and you have a balcony or something, you can stick that little antenna out, you can monitor. Um, you don't want a big, bulky, huge shortwave on your, you know, dresser or wherever or by your window. Something like this can really come in handy. It can also come in handy because it's so packable. I mean, if I'm, I'm going to take off the antenna here, I mean, you can see, you can pack that into a little kit and carry that with you anywhere, and that is metal with a printed front and back cover here. These were obviously either printed or uh, there's some kind of plastic, but they look like they were printed. Um, so you can see that's a really small unit that could fit into a little backpack for a portable shortwave, and you can throw this up. Now, it doesn't have to be that antenna. Um, I've done a video with uh, making my own little uh, sort of uh, dipole antenna. It's not a true dipole, but it, you get the idea. It kind of, it's just a long wire basically, and you can throw that up in a tree, you can clip it to that, you know, stick it on here and take a little alligator clip and clip it to that, and you can set up a stealth monitoring post in times of trouble or emergencies anywhere. So it's definitely a cool little system. Um, for under 100 bucks, you can have like really decent world class reception with a tiny little radio like this and with your. Uh, your little uh, MLA 30 antenna. But the, the video really wasn't about the antenna, even though I did showcase it a lot. Um, I will put a link where you can buy one, and I will put my review at the end of it. But the whole point of this is that it's such a small package, so lightweight, rechargeable. There's no batteries to worry about. You just plug it in and charge it. Um, you will need that proper connector. As I told you, you're going to need one of these. Old school USB connector, old school micro connector. 
But, and it doesn't come with it either, so I had to put that with it. But I mean, with this in your pack, and a random length wire antenna, you're doing pretty good. You can pick up pretty much anything. So, definitely a cool little system. I'm very, very pleased with it so far. We're probably going to do another video on it outdoors. It's just too windy to do that today, and I wanted to bring this to you guys before um, too long. It's very, very windy out there right now, and I didn't think we were going to be able to do much of anything with it um, with the wind the way it is. So... Anyway, folks, I hope you enjoyed the video. I thank you for watching. I will put a link down below to where you can get the radio um, on eBay and where you can get the antenna. Don't forget our Amazon affiliate store as well down there. We have a ton of stuff in that store, and I have two categories now. Eventually, I'm going to have four different categories. Um, so when you see the two categories, just click whichever one is interest, you know, interesting to you. The antenna will be in the store. This one won't because they don't sell these um, on uh on Amazon at the moment. Don't forget to check out our My Patriot Supply down below. That's preparewithiridium.com and our Thrive Life freeze-dried food store. Um, now's a good time to get stocked up on some freeze-dried food, so don't forget to check it out. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Don't forget to thumbs up if you liked it. Stay safe and stay prepared.